if there's question marks in your folders and this little light on the side, I'll call it, is gray, it just means the drive isn't there. Go find the drive, hook it up. The question marks will probably go away because they'll be able to see the files again. Make sense? But this one, the reason why it's not showing up is I made a change in my hard drive which confused Lightroom. It expected a folder of this name and didn't find it. So here's how I fix it. I move my mouse on top of the name and I press the right mouse button. Now, if you're on a Mac and you only have one mouse button, anytime over the next three days or anytime you ever hear anybody say, press the right mouse button, on a Mac with one button on your mouse, just hold on the control key on your keyboard and click. Control clicking is equivalent to right mouse button if you don't have a two button mouse. Now in here you'll find it says find missing folder. So I'll choose that. It brings up a standard open dialog box and I'm going to navigate to the hard drive where the folder is and what was the name of that one? Blue Ridge. So I'll click on it with my renamed name up here and in the lower right there's a choice called choose. I'll hit choose and now it updated the name and the question mark went away because it knows where it is. Okay? So if you ever see the question marks, first glance at what I will call a little light, because I think of it as the light on the front of my hard drive, and see if it's colored. If it's not, let's see what happens when I disconnect this drive. I'm going to first eject it. Disconnect here. Now it'll take it a moment to realize that I did something. And usually I thought that went gray. There it goes. Okay, do you see the little dark gray in there? Which means the hard drive's not there. If it's green, it means it sees the hard drive. And I think if it turns orange, it means the drive's almost full. Uh, so that you might have problems importing a lot of images on it. And then I'll take the hard drive. You see the question marks there saying it can't find these folders. Makes sense it can't find them because the drive's not on. So I plug in my drive. Should take it a moment for it to mount to my desktop. And it'll also take it a moment for Lightroom to go and pay attention to that because it doesn't know if I'm looking right here in Lightroom or looking at another feature where it shouldn't spend time to uh, look here. But you see the light turns back on, these light up, and the question marks go away. Okay? Then let's say that it's not the name of the folder that I didn't like. Instead, I have one folder that's called Africa Trip, and I wish it was in a folder instead called Zimbabwe, and then another one called Botswana, and another one called Johannesburg. And I didn't do that. Instead, I have generic one folder that's there. So how could I end up doing that? Well, if I come over here to my list of folders, and I right click on a folder, one of the choices within this is uh, you get a couple things. First off, just so you know, there's a choice called import to this folder. If you ever choose that, it would bring up the import dialog box, like to import more photos, and it would automatically choose that folder as the destination. So it's kind of an interesting little uh, um, shortcut. But you see right here, it says create folder inside, and then the name of this folder. So I could choose that and call this, I don't know what I'd want to call it in this particular case, but and hit create and now you'll see a little triangle next to that folder which indicates there's another folder within it and if I click the triangle to expand it I would see my newly created folder and you notice it says there's no pictures in it and it's gray just because there's nothing in it it's just a folder with, with nothing within it so now I could come in here and if I want to put a image in there it says cabin visit. I can come over here and choose as many pictures as I want. I'll act like this is a cabin. It really isn't, but I'll hold shift and click on the last image I want and I'll just drag these images onto that subfolder and let go and it warns me that it's actually going to move these files on my drive because that folder list simply represents how my drive is structured. So if you make a change to it in Lightroom, it's going to make the same change in your drive. And it's just trying to let you know about that. And so I'm going to say don't show again and hit move. And now you can see up there it says moving files and you can see them disappearing from here. And now there's 30 of them in that folder called cabin visit. And if I go to the finder and I find that drive, little zippy, and I open up the folder called Great Smoky Mountains, 
Somewhere in here, there should be a subfolder, it's probably at the bottom, called cabin visit. So it created that subfolder on my hard drive, and if I open it up, there's probably 30 images in there. And it says at the bottom, 30 items. So it made those changes on my hard drive. And uh, so if you don't like the structure you currently have on your hard drive, and you decide you want to change it, you could end up coming in here and making the changes right in Lightroom. And that would probably be best just because you have previews for your images, so it's easy to tell which images you're dragging between particular locations.